Vamos a pasar ahora a la presentación de una nueva plataforma innovadora que quiere llevar la gastronomía a todo el mundo. Y para presentarla invito de nuevo a Natalia Bayona de la OMT a que nos acompañe en este escenario una vez más, por favor, Natalia Bayona. So, congratulations once again uh, for the startups. A secretary general uh, was saying to us as a UN organization, it's uh, wonderful to have you here and to, and to talk about innovation. So, I know that you are starving, so I will talk about food just to, to aware you that lunch is here. So, if you can help me, yeah. So, how many of you uh, have seen a digital innovation hub um, regarding gastronomy? Please raise your hand if you know someone that is working in a global scope to promote gastronomy. And who's the hub? And where is it? Could you please tell us? Okay. So um, I promise that this is different because this has uh, not only the collaboration of UNWTO, it, has the collabor it will have the collaboration of uh, our member states that, as you know, uh, we have more than 150 members. So what is Foodie Tourist? Basically, we did a benchmark inside UNWTO and uh, with one of our special uh, advisors of, on gastronomy, Rafael Anzon, and basically, we just have seen that there are a lot of platforms, there are a lot of websites, there are a lot of new initiatives regarding gastronomy and tourism, but there is no a place where you can develop the ecosystem on gastronomy and tourism. Uh, if you are not aware, when you are talking about innovation, ecosystem development is crucial. So. Talking about ecosystem, it's joining six crucial dots. First of all, startups. Second of all, corporates. Third of all, the academia. Fourth, the investor. Fifth, uh, the member states or the countries. And sixth, uh, of course, the um, institutions. So if these six actors are not together, we can say that there's no sustainable innovation. So that's why we decided to create for the first time, the first innovation hub that would be focused on joining those six actors. So basically, we have see here the, the pilot of the project that we are launching today, but we would have the opportunity, for example, to have their top inspirational um, quotes, remarks, videos from bloggers. We would have their the, the curated um, drinks and the dishes from every sing any single country, and of course, to interact with the public regarding um, what were their type of experiences. So I would like to give you an example with Spain. So if you go, you can see, of course, that you can explore by destinations, by the country, by the type of food, for example. As you know, uh, foodies are super micro segmented. So, for example, if I am living, if I am an Arab and I am in Latin America, this platform can help you to see where, we, where are the halal certified restaurants, for example. That's a challenge. Or if I am from Israel or if I am Jewish, I would have the opportunity to, ha to see where can I find kosher specialities that are already created by the UNWTO. That's to give you an example. And of course, by georeferenciation, you can go to this web app, and of course, via uh, geolocalization, you can find, of course, top of the top restaurants, dishes, and of course, chefs of the world. So uh, this is an open platform, but of course, it has to be curated. So our idea is to have a committee that, of course, would be integrated by Rafael Anson, that is our special advisor on gastronomy, and, of course, the UNWTO. But here, the countries are crucial. So these selections of these uh, photos, of these um, recipes, if it's easy, if it's medium difficulty, if it's so difficult to do it, of course, I'm not a genius to know uh, what's the speciality, of, of course, of Sri Lanka, for example. So that's why we are working and collaborating as an ecosystem, because this is an opportunity for the countries to create 
better their dishes, to create better their drinks, to create better the positioning of um, the tourism and gastronomy. Of course, here, not because this is my, my region, <laughs> but for example, you would have the opportunity to see the crafted touristic routes regarding uh, gastronomy. So for example, this is the route of the coffee from America. So of course, if you want to learn more, you click here. And on a second phase, of course, you can merge here two operators and of course the private sector to sell packages here. Of course, the, the tea route as well, um, the Caribbean, of course, the Dorado route, etc. If you want to go for a weekend, of course, it can be micro-segmented as well. And um, as I already said, because this is a platform that helps to join the six actors of the innovation ecosystem, we can have, for example, startups or, or small restaurants to discover the local products in order to have a social impact in the way we promote food, alimentation, and gastronomy. So of course, those restaurants, those chefs, Mm, those persons or those startups that are working for a better future, for example, the one that we had from Italy, would have the opportunity, of course, to expose their platforms on their, their um, initiatives here inside foodie tourism. Of course, to us, children and alimentation, and good alimentation is crucial. So we, of course, we are thinking about doing something for children, um, Secretary General is thinking about, of course, promoting uh, kids' entrepreneurship. <laughs> so if, if for, for a second phase, we would have there uh, not only amazing recipes by children, but also to create pretty well um, the restaurants where the countries advise for kids and for have unique experiences. Uh, of course, you would have as we are talking about tourism and, and gastronomy, to promote the destinations are crucial. So you would have the map of the world here. And of course, our goal is to upload at least 54 countries from Africa, 27 countries from Asia, 13 countries from the Caribbean, seven from Central America, Europe 47, Middle East 17, North America three, Oceania 14, and South America 12. So basically, uh, we would like, for example, in South America, we have been creating uh, the, the ecosystem of gastronomy, and as you know, South America is one of the most diverse countries, uh, sorry, regions in the world. So we would like to, 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 as a goal, to promote at least 160 types of food. But for example, when you go to Africa, uh, we would like at least to promote 46 type of foods. And of course, uh, it's not only about the countries and the type of food, it's about creating packages and to give opportunities, of course, not only to the private sector, to the entrepreneurs, but also to the countries as a way of exposing them uh, in one platform, in one click. So, as I already said, we are working uh, with different countries. I think that we will launch the official information, of course, starting by Spain, and um, uh, there would be the opportunity, of course, for academics, for um, journalists, for bloggers, for foodies to connect with us and, of course, to talk about this type of, of um, initiatives and, of course, uh, because we have more than 100 events inside the UNWTO, our idea is in each, every single um, event, forum, or um, instrument of promotion and marketing that we are doing to promote food the tourist as a different way to promote the whole world in equal conditions because as yesterday, uh, Flanders spoke to us, uh, it's, it doesn't matter nowadays about talking about um, Michelin stars. Uh, it's about authenticity, it's about uh, experiences, it's about quality, it's about legacy, about social impact. So what we want to do inside the UNWTO is to join efforts, as I already said, with the member states, with the countries, with the startups, with the private sector, of course, with the academia, with the journalists and the institutions in order to foster a better future, a more sustainable way to eat, 
to travel, and of course to give all the countries, it doesn't matter if I am from Colombia, from Peru, from Israel, for tai from Taiwan, uh, if I am a UNWTO member state, I have equal conditions to use this platform and of course to upload the information that I feel it's unique in order to promote my country worldwide and of course it can help my country to scale and to of course to be in, to have the world of gastronomy inside one click. So um, I think if you have some questions, uh, we will be here. But of course, we would like you to promote foodie tourists and of course to promote um, these initiatives inside your regions, inside your countries, because to us it's very important, as I already said, to promote sustainability, democracy, and of course, a better alimentation for all. Thank you.